Good morning, everybody. It is 9 o- no, not 9 o'clock. It's probably like 8.30. I don't really know in all honesty. It is a beautiful negative one degree Celsius today. And it is warm for me. And it is great and beautiful. And I'm also vlogging in public and it makes me feel self-conscious. I am heading to the library to do some last minute studying. And then I have an exam today at two. So that's fun. It's fun is not the right word. Oh, there's a little bit of wind. Don't like that. But it is prime weather right now. The library is freakishly empty right now. Like, there's hardly anybody here. So much so that I want to whisper. This is so weird. Ooh, my hair is so not nice right now. I need to go check in to my flight for tomorrow. And I'm going to do that online. And then I am going to pay my credit card bill. And I'm going to do a couple more things like that before studying, before I forget and start studying because I need to get those done before I leave. Update, it's 11.10. I am watching a shit ton of Crash Course Psychology while crocheting. And I've restarted this so many times because if, if anything, the like the tube that I'm making is way too small. So I'm just trying to like figure that part out. But I'm restarting again. I'm starting to get the hang of crocheting now, which is good. But this is my form of studying and it's really bad. But I think after I watch this video, I'm going to do like actual reviewing on Quizlet or something. If you don't know what Quizlet it is, it's a really great way to study because it's basically like flashcards on steroids. I'm walking around the library with just my socks on because I'm really classy. And I just walked around with Luke for a bit and he bought me an ice cap. What a nice, wholesome lad. So here's my progress on my crocheting, which is pretty good. But how much have we studied for this test? Nothing! Woo! We didn't study for like the last half, no, the last hour that we were here so as to study. We were just like complaining uh -huh. the whole time about this and we were course. Playing Tetris battle. And you were playing Tetris Battle. Now we're heading over to oh, yeah. the gym to oh, die. Oh, and, uh, you know, witness our impending doom. Rachel's checking her geography mark. <laughs> <gasps> Holy <laughs> shit. What'd you get? It's a D. <laughs> <laughs> At least you passed. Yeah. That's all that matters. Can we just compare what Rachel's wearing compared to me and Eden with her thick coats? <laughs> Look what you're wearing like what I wore in October. <laughs> but it's like three negative three degrees ish. Something like that. Anyway, we're going in like a weird route to the gym. This is like the back of campus, I guess. I honestly don't know what any of these buildings are. Yeah, I think like ooh, up ahead is like the hospital, I think. I don't even know. Basically, there are 16 chairs per row and Cycle Hunter takes like rows 1 to 41. That's how big this class is. We're gonna die. T minus 15 minutes. Exams are done! That wasn't too bad. It was easier than the midterms, but I definitely, I don't think I failed. I don't think I got like the best mark either but I don't need to get too much in order to get a B in the course. So I think I'm like, okay, I'm just happy that it's all done and over 
and tomorrow I'm going home. Since we were at the gym, um, a bunch of us was dropped by the athletic store and I bought two hoodies, one for Katie and one for Annika, my two friends from back home. Also, I don't know if I mentioned it, but I finished the exam after one and a half hours, which is, I mean, like I could have probably stayed a little bit longer and checked over a couple more of my answers, but no, honestly, I finished quickly, more quickly because all of my friends who were with me, they all left and we were all supposed to go to the athletic shop together. So I'm just like, ah, this is good enough. But like, I think like I checked over the majority of my questions and then I did a lot of critical thinking while answering them. So I don't think my mark would have been affected too much by that judgment. Okay, so currently my luggage is huge and it's really heavy and I'm really confused because I'm going back home where I have a lot of stuff but yet I'm still bringing a lot of stuff there. So I need to fix that, I think, to pack less things, I guess, or make me feel like I pack less things. I might bring that black one instead of this one because this one is a little bit bigger. Maybe that'll make me feel better or something. Update! I fit it all into this bag and it's a tiny bit lighter because I took out a couple of things. This is my final meal before I leave and it's all my leftovers. I have egg and then I put ham, vegetarian ham, all the vegetarian ham I have, half a can, <laughs> half a can of tuna and then bread and like, pesto and cheese and it tastes kind of okay whoa hey that's my vlog <laughs> you're stalking me oh yeah these are my roommates say hello Hi. hello sorry <laughs> mary had come back she's watching my vlogs that's really uh it makes me feel uncomfortable when people watch my vlogs, but that's what oh. <laughs> I know. I, but it's like it's ex it's to be expected. Anyway, we're just gonna film you as you eat. How no pressure. <laughs> also, I just remembered that I was gonna give you guys an apartment tour. So here's a tour of our really messy apartment. When you enter in, this is the coat hanger place, <laughs> and then a bunch of our shoes, <laughs> and then here's the kitchen. It's uh, very clean. As you can see, the appliances aren't the newest, but they work. And then if you like walk here, there's the rooms. This is Marielle's room, and then this is Marion's room, and then my room is here at the end. I'm gonna give like more detailed tours, probably as like a separate video, well into the future. <laughs> this is one of the bathrooms. This one just has a shower over there, and then a sink. And then this is where like we all brush our teeth. Um, there is my um, straightener. Also, this is a quick plug for my dad's product. This is called a curler caddy and it's super duper useful. Like when you want to keep your appliance or hot tools up and out of the counter. But yeah, this is really good for traveling. This is made of silicone so it doesn't burn. And it just keeps like, it keeps it up here and doesn't take up any counter space. And I especially love to use it if I was curling my hair or straightening my hair in a full length mirror like this, because obviously there's like no counter space. So I just like literally stick it on here and it's super duper handy in my opinion. Uh, not being biased at all, even though it's my dad's product and it is named after my blog. <laughs> but yeah, um, if you want to get it, then there's going to be a link in the description box. Anyway, uh, here's a quick rundown of my room. This is a regular sized room. Um, here is a bed. It is twin size bed. My super large desk. Everybody else has smaller desks. Uh, my really big windows, the really high ceilings, uh, my closet. And then over here, across from B, is our other bathroom. 
There's a sink, a toilet, and a shower with a bathtub. But we didn't... What? Wow, are you mocking me? <laughs> You're the one who's been watching my vlogs. What are you guys doing? I'm showing you my new, my new blanket. <laughs> Ooh. Hey, you have to study, Marion. Go study. Stop distracting her. I'm on vacation. <laughs> You're not on vacation? Anyway, uh, there's supposed to be like a plug to keep the water in if you wanted to use it as a bath, but we didn't get one. There is a small coat hanger thing here that we use as storage for random boxes of the appliances that we have. And then if you go in here, this is the dining room. We have four chairs. We have three bookshelves. Not everybody gets the same furnitures. Furniture? Wow. What is my English? Um, let me plug this in. That lights, those lights are intense, but we got curtain lights and we just hung it up here. So it kind of covers up this empty wall a little bit more. But yeah, if you, you, don't, you haven't noticed, the living room doesn't have its own like lights at the top. So we have to use lamps and then this, and then a coffee table, two couches, and really, really, really big windows and one lamp. We're supposed to get more than one lamp, but we just have one lamp. Okay, so it okay, is. So it is. Ooh, nice hands. <laughs> it's um 10:50, and Ooh. I still need to do a couple more things, but we just came back from hanging out with our friends, and I went to go say bye to all of them. Mm -hmm. Excuse you, you're not allowed to yawn behind the camera. You have to yawn in front of the camera. Ah, uh, thank you. I'm gonna end this vlog now. If you enjoyed, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if um, you wanna somehow, if you've somehow found me somewhat entertaining. Tomorrow I am heading home and then I, so, <laughs> tomorrow I'm heading home and I've really enjoyed, uh, <laughs> I'm heading home and I really enjoyed vlogging. Well, I'm still gonna vlog at home, but I think I'm gonna vlog more often while I'm here in McGill. Um, in case, you know, you're interested in seeing what McGill life is, um, because I know I was when I was applying for <laughs> university and was kind of looking, thinking of when I was contemplating going to McGill or not. So I think I'm gonna vlog more about McGill life, I guess. <laughs> Stop! I'm trying to end this vlog. Ew! Cootie! Bye! <laughs> okay, bye. See you next vlog.